Hey guys, fishing stuff. Today, we building a rod rack. Not that kind of rod rack. Today, we building a pickup truck rod rack. Right after this. Today, we building a rod rack for the back of a pickup truck. I've had a lot of expensive rods get broke over the years, and I've wanted one for a long time. But most of them you see online, they're expensive. Today's rod rack we're building is really simple. In today's rod rack, I think I got 35 bucks. It includes the steel, the stainless steel hardware, the bed liner spray, and the plastic dip. I saved a lot of money doing it myself. If I had an aluminum welder, I'd probably do it in aluminum, but it's not as heavy as I thought it was gonna be. But let's quit wasting time. Let's get into it. Okay, guys. What we're gonna need for today's project. I've got a piece of angle iron. It's one and a half inch angle iron I had laying around. So I'm gonna clean it up and use it. I had some flat stock, two inch, eighth inch thick. This was what I had left over about for the anchor video. I bought this inch and a quarter conduit, metal conduit. I think it was six or seven dollars for 10 foot. Then we're gonna need some paint. I got this paint. It looks like my truck. I'm either gonna use this or I may use bed liner. And then I got a can of Plasti Dip. That's for the top of the tubes. We're gonna dip them and rubberize them so when you put your rod and reel in it, it doesn't scratch up your reel too bad. Cutting the conduit in about 13 inch pieces. We're making this rod rack attached to the track inside my Tacoma bed. So it has to be 56 and a half inches wide. We're gonna attach it with the flat stock on the sides. We're gonna cut little pieces out of the flat stock to attach the tube to the angle. I'm gonna to get to cutting all this stuff and you'll see how it comes together. Okay, I drew out my pieces. These are gonna hold my tubes at the right angle. This angle is 60 degrees. I don't want my rod standing straight up. I want them slanted back slightly because it'll make them shorter so they don't hit tree limbs and stuff as easy. Now I gotta cut all these out. it on this angle a good bit but down here is pretty pitted this probably should have went with a new piece but I think we can still use it now I got my lines marked these lines are where each rod tube will go I come in seven and a half inches from the side because I wanted to miss the wheel well of my truck and then each one of these are about seven inches apart. You'll just have to measure your truck and figure out the spacing. But I got enough to where I can put seven rod tubes. Reason I used seven inches was because I don't want my reels banging against each other. Got my side pieces made. 
These will go on the sides and hold it in the truck. I bought my pieces that'll go on the rail and these will hold the tubes on. You'll be able to understand a little bit better as soon as I start putting the tubes on. These tubes are a little bit rough, so I gotta clean these up, sand them, then I can start welding the piece that'll hold the tube on. All right, I got my tubes marked. Now I gotta weld my little brackets on that holds them on. I'm getting ready to do that. This is galvanized. I hope it welds good. First time welding galvanized. Some of the welds don't look too bad. And that one ain't too bad. That one ain't, eh. Some of them look like crap. But I'm gonna clean these up. And then we'll uh, start working on our bar and get it all put together. I tacked them all on to my lines I drew earlier. Looked all right until I got to the end. This one's crooked as crap. So I'm gonna have to cut the tacks on this one and try again. Well, we got her welded up. Got her end pieces welded on. Welded all her tubes on. Straighten that one out that was crooked. Now we need to clean her up and get it painted. So I sprayed some of the primer filler on the top. Try to fill in some of those pits. It looks better. Now I'm gonna sand it down and hit it again. You can still see a few pits in it. That'll take some of that pitting out of it. the way that bed liner turned out makes it look good now need to flip it over i'm gonna clamp it down with something and we're going to rubberize the ends keep the reels from getting scratched up i use one of these silver sharpies they work great i put a mark how far i wanted the dip to go on each one so i know where to stop First coat dipped, it's dripping off. That's okay, it's looking good. This rod rack turned out really nice. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. I like the rubber tops too, but it kind of dripped or it was hanging upside down, so I'm going to have to clean that up. There's only one thing left to do. Give it my seal of approval. I'm getting ready to put the rod rack in. I wanted to show you something. 
These right here are called T-nuts. And what you do with them, this end on your track system of your Tacoma, or whatever kind of truck you got, you take it out and you can slide one of these T-nuts in it. And you can run a bolt into it and it'll hold it up for you. You put the cap back in when you're done. Okay, I got my I got my T nuts in that side. I got them in this side. Got my rod rack ready. I got my daughter Kristen. She's gonna help me hold it up so I can bolt it in there. Something that's cool you can do because it's mounted to a track system you can slide it to the back to the tailgate of the truck and you can use it as rod holders if you surf fishing or if you bank fishing if you can back your truck up to it it turned out really nice Honestly, this project turned out way nicer than I thought it was going to. And I really like it. Hey, if you hadn't yet, click subscribe. And while you're at it, click the bell so YouTube will let you know when I post videos. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. I forgot my drink.